A still life is a drawing or painting that focuses on still life objects. The subject matter is inanimate and never moves, typically with a focus on household objects, flowers, or fruits. To create your own still life, please choose five different objects with various heights to create a balanced composition. Then you're going to draw this arrangement using a pencil in four values. Here are some examples of what still life drawings look like. So as you view these, notice where you see the light, the dark, and the medium tones of gray. Next, we're going to talk about still life setup. So I'm going to run you through this, but before we start, we want to talk about the principle of design called balance. Balance is a feeling that results when the elements of design are arranged symmetrically or asymmetrically to create the impression of a quality in weight or importance. Okay, so these are all the different pieces of my still life that I'm going to use look something like that. Okay, so the first thing I have are my small objects. I have a spoon. These are all things that are low to the ground, okay? All things that are low to the ground. Next, I have my medium-sized objects. Okay, so I chose different fruits. Um, there's some butternut squash, instant camera, a candle, and then my tall objects. So I'm going to choose five of these objects to create my composition. Okay, I have my light source, which is something that I need. I have tape and I have an old sheet. You can also use an old t-shirt, anything like that. Okay, so then we're going to talk about what that should look like. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to tape this up against a wall and turn on my light source. Next step is to turn on my light. This is what it looks like. I just tape this up. Objects are over there and we're gonna turn on the light. All right, so you can position the light depending on how you want. You can make it lower, okay? And it's gonna give off light from this side, okay? It's gonna be my light area. Or you can have it higher from above, below, whatever works. Next, I'm gonna position my objects. If I don't have any tall objects, what you can do is you can take some books and you can stack them up underneath. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Okay, so what this does is I just put some books under here to give it some height. And I'm gonna stack my tallest objects in the back. Okay, so I have that, really like that candle. And I wanna create something that looks kind of like a triangle. Okay, um, my light source is coming from this side, so this is gonna be in a lot of shadow. I might actually move this over here. Okay, and I'm choosing objects of different shapes, but also that would be easy to draw. So maybe something like that, I'm at three. Maybe I even want this one down here. Um. So as I'm going, I just wanna see, maybe I don't even like this. It looks very separated. So I can even take some of the books out if I wanted to or switch the composition up. I can switch my objects out. Maybe I want a, something that looks like that. Let's see. And that looks like a pretty interesting composition. I want to do something like that. And I have my Okay, so here's one idea I have for a composition. Um, this uses pretty easy shapes. I can even um, scrunch this so I can draw the fabric 
overall my composition is pointed here 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 it's almost in a diamond shape um, if I want to do something that was more like a triangle I can leave that there and um, maybe just take this out and add one more thing Move this back here and here Okay, option two, we have a triangle composition. So then after this, I'm just gonna draw.